In this video I show you how to create this sand logo animation that you see on the screen. Let's go! So here we are in After Effects and these are the settings that I'm gonna be using for this. I'll click OK and then drop the logo that I already prepared. I'll drop this down and then press S for scale options and then we are gonna scale this down to 50. And then we are gonna, while having this selected, select the layer and then I'll zoom in and then create a mask. Select pen tool, create a mask on this triangle. And you can take your time to create a better mask, but in order for this effect to take place, we have to do this for this logo. Other logos might not be the case. So I select the layer and then press M for mask options and then change this add to subtract. So this area needs to be transparent for the effect to take place. Now I'm gonna pre-compose this layer. So I'll select the layer and then press Ctrl Shift C and then call this logo. Check this first one, leave all attributes, click OK. And now I'm gonna create a solid, right click, go to new, solid, call this matte, click OK. I'm gonna move this down and then make another pre-comp of this. So Ctrl Shift C, call this matte and check this first one here as well, click OK. And then I'll go inside of the mat, pre-comp, select the layer, and then while having the layer selected, I select rectangle tool and then create a mask just like so. And then we can animate, go to mask settings, and then we can animate the mask path. So here at the beginning, we set a keyframe and then go to four second, and then we can select this two points and then animate it while holding shift just like that. And then we can increase the feather to 150 to make it more natural, smoother. To make this even more natural, we go to FX and presets and type in turbulent displays. Double click on it to add and then we change amount to 470 and then change the size to 40 complexity by 4 and then go back to FX and presets type in solid composite and then double click on it to add change the color to black and then we can go back to our main composition so as you can see the mat is complete so we can turn this off and now we can apply another effect to logo so we go to fx and presets and then type in cc ball action double click on it to add to the logo and then we can change the twist property to red here because we are going to be using another effect called set channel and we have to choose red on there as well so we go back to fx and presets type in set channels double click on it to add and then i'll move this up here and then we can change this source layer to matte and here we have a red as well and now we can confirm here that we have the red channel and then we can change the twist angle to minus 90 and if I play this you can see the difference this makes. So I'll change this to minus 90. Now turn on the collapse transformation for the logo and then we move this logo up so that we can see the sand falling down and if we wanted to make this fall further down then we can go to composition up here composition settings and then change the height to 2000 and then we move this up above and then to make it look like to give it a sand look we can change this grid spacing to zero so as you can see we 
have this type of animation as of now let's have a look at it again and this looks like as it is falling to the floor so to change that let me just open up some space here on the effects panel and then we go to effects and presets type in channel combiner double click on it to add to the logo layer and then we change this from to red from red to alpha only we go back to effects and presets and type in fractal noise to give the logo a color and then we change the brightness to minus 25 open the transform settings and then go to scale change this to 12 and we go back to effects and presets type in colorama double click on it to add to the logo layer and then we go to we open the settings for modify and then uncheck this modify alpha and then go to output output cycle and then we can change this preset here to golden one to give it a sand look and then we can change this cycle repetition to six so it has a sand look to it now we can duplicate the logo ctrl d to duplicate and then press enter to rename this so i'll call this logo small sand and the other one press enter to rename and call this logo big sand and we can solo this big sand and then go to cc ball action and we can change some settings here to make it bigger so i'll zoom in a little here for you to see and then we change the scatter to one change grid spacing to one also and we can decrease the size because 100 or ball size here is obviously too big so we can change this to 24 i'll unsolo this now so i'll click on this and now we can create a new composition to the size we want so we go to project and then click on this icon call this main and the previous one for height was 2000 so we keep this at 1080 click ok and then drop the sand composition that we have here and then we can select and move this into the middle and then duplicate this and we select the one that's below and then move a couple of frames so to give this a 3d look we go to effects and presets for the one that's below we add curves so double click on curves to add and then by adjusting the curves we get a 3d look to it so let me turn this on and off for you to see and that should be it for the animation